Get it, brother. <laughs> So don't don't no, don't get quiet. Don't no, I'm not. On that. Sheena got something to say. Uh oh, Sheena. Sheena, Sheena, got, Sheena got something. But look, that's Melissa. Hold on, let me get the mic to Melissa. Melissa got something to say. No, you, what it is is she's giving credibility to the source. So it's not like I heard or somebody came and told me. This no, ain't a newspaper. Right. Article. But if I'm cool with her and I'm and that's my loyal friend and we tight like that, I'm telling her, look, my my in house is telling me this. I ain't heard it. Party. This is what it comes to me directly. So it's giving credibility. Clap it up. 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 What about you? Doing? We got a comment down here, Tom. What's your, what, what's your name, sir? I'm Cody. I'm from out of town. Did not know this was going on. Wow. I'm happy to be a part of the conversation. And this is the energy yes. and the attitude that we love. Let us say what's up to Cody. What's up, Cody? All right, Cody. Right, what you say about Stay out of everyone else's business. There you go. Stay out. Enjoy your house. Enjoy your wife. Enjoy your husband. Either way, enjoy your family. Stay out of everyone else's business. That's my two cents. Wow. Y'all better show some love for wax off in here. I know that's right. Damn, that's that wax off philosophy. Stay the hell out of people's business. And get away from the gate. That's right. Okay, we got a comment down. Hold on, Cody got a struggle with it. I, gotta, oh. I just want to get his name. Yes, Calvin, Calvin, my brother in law. Oh, Calvin, what up, Calvin? What's up, Calvin? Calvin, I like you. Calvin, I like you. Calvin, I like you. Calvin, I like you. Calvin, Yeah, you do. Where you guys from? Where are they from? Where you from? San Diego. Oh, whoa, wow. that's close. That's the close. Oh, you got a San Diego. Oh, yes. y'all went to school together. Okay, then. Well, welcome, man. We call yeah, it welcome to Grown Man Conversation. You go there every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock, and I appreciate your comment. That was well received right yes, there, Cody. Thank you. Cody says, stay out of people's business. Yeah. How about that? All right, well, this young lady has something to say. Give me your name, too, please. My name is Lay. Come on, Lay. Um, so, you know, I agree with Cody. And here's, here's the thing. If, if this is your good friend, then one, you are. Y'all heard it late. All right. Y'all heard it late. Like the chips, baby. She laid them chips down. Did she do it? She yes. said, if you're living out your business, stay out of people's business. Which brings us to another comment. To another comment. Go ahead, Yolanda. Right. And give your name again. Sarah, and I just have a question. So, what are you trying to achieve? What outcome do you want by sharing this information with your friend? Mm. Mm. So, if it were me in this scenario, and my husband saw this, what I would want because this would this is a this this I can't you know what I mean? This, this is a real ass scenario. We're this baby, we're not, no, 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 no. We don't no, do that. But now what you're doing is the same thing we just talked no, about. No, what I'm saying. Right, it's just a scenario. That's but it's all. a real scenario. So what I would do, my reason as to saying something to her would be to let her know she needs to watch herself because she's slipping in a sense. And another reason why I would say something is because this female is so close to us that I know she knows that my husband was there. That she don't know that he saw her, but I know for a fact she knows he was there because of things that, you know what I mean? I know she knows he was there. So the fact that she didn't even say, oh, or text him, hey, Tom, I'm here in the building, blah, 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 because that's normally how she do. Uh, Let me know it was on some funny style. She, so what I'm saying is I want her to be cool because she's dropping her guard. Cody. So if it ain't all that, then watch your back. Calvin. Make sure. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Baby, I'm going no. too deep with it. Bitch. But that would be my reason for saying something. Like, come on now, you slip on like, I would want an alarm. If I was slipping and somebody saw me somewhere and it looked like something was inappropriate, because for one, he ain't gonna come tell me nothing if that light bulb ain't coming to his head. Because if it looked innocent, he wouldn't even brought it home to me in the first place. You get a little aggressive. So there was something that sparked a little aggressive. or made him feel. You just talked. There's a question mark. So I would be like, look, boo boo. We got some question marks, and I love the dynamic of you and your husband. And I don't want you getting caught up in a bullshit, as Anderson Pop would say. 
for no reason. So watch your back because you're slipping out here. I understand where you're coming from, but you know what? You don't really know what goes on in somebody's house and what their relationships are really like. So it's you don't know if somewhere in the You don't know if they got an agreement, they got an arrangement, they got something going on. It's not pretty to that information. So you don't have to mind your business. Tell her again, Ray, please. As a matter of fact, can everybody here on the count of three say you got to mind your business? One, two, three. You got to mind your business. Thank you, Mama. That's the coding channel. Okay. I'm going to think about it. That's the coding channel. I haven't said nothing yet, so I must be minding my business. Oh, that's good. That's you know what I mean? Good. You know, I love how you can have me and you intertwined in all this. Supposed to be and got them looking at us. This is real growing. Like, I understand that. And that's why people come out. Right. But again, I say, yeah, but again, I say, I just love by you know, trying to into the scenario. That's all. I'm a long way to All right. Brother Jay. Grandchild from the same idea. Yeah. 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 Grandchild from the same idea, changing everything just slightly. Suppose you saw somebody that you know is married and see them go into a hotel with a woman that's not their wife or their husband. Mm. Should you tell your friend who the wife or the husband that you see them go into a hotel mm. that look very suspicious? Mm. And what kind of dinner? What, 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 what that, y'all? On the side or the female side, should you tell the person or should you be like Cody? And I see my friend who's married go into the hotel with another woman and I mind in my business. As a matter of fact, let me bring a real life. Can we clap on? Oh, yeah. Before you get aggressive with Cody, and he never come back. Cody's okay. gonna come back. But no, bring it real, because this is your brother in law, right? So you're saying if I see him going to. Yeah, and he's obviously yeah. married to your sister, sister, right? Right. No, vice versa. Oh, he, you're married to his sister? Yes. Ooh, okay, brother in law. <laughs> so you this. see Cody go up into the hotel, and it's not your sister. Touch Melissa. But you just happen to be riding by, you're like, damn, is that my brother Cody? And you see him and it's somebody else. Do you, do you go say something to Cody? And just let him know that, no, because this is family. We ain't got to be blood. This is family. And I know him so well that, yeah, yeah, uh, this is family. I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. I've got to sit on that for a while. I'm hoping no work out. I'm still kind of doing that. Oh, so my man, this is good. No, no, no. See, see Yolanda, you ain't going to shake the ship. Okay. Now, you ain't going to shake the ship, yeah? On your little FBI intimidation tactics. <laughs> they talked about this shit in the parking lot. Whatever's going on in there, we stick together. You understand? Whatever's going on in there, we stick together. Exactly. Don't you know what you do that to me? <laughs> so Yolanda, uh, I wanted to spin off from that. Yeah. Um, the hotel. Right. Well, the hotel thing is different. Now, damn it! If I see you going in a hotel with somebody, like your girlfriend, and because first of all, if I see your girlfriend going in a hotel with somebody, I ain't coming home. You ain't gonna know that. Oh, you're not going to tell me that one. Not that one. Oh, okay. Not that one, because first of all, I'm seeing how you're doing on this so scenario. Oh, okay. no. Okay? You know what? Well, I know that damn a hotel is the you next level, what? Cody. Yeah. She'll be like, Cheetah, she'll be like, she to the drugstore. That's not right. So you ready to look at, you ready to look at what I found out in the last two days? That's not I'm right. Like, what the hell? Leave it alone, Yolanda. It's a non-judgment zone. We call this a non-judgment zone. You can speak your truth and say, right. so nothing in this room should be held against you. So therefore, I'm speaking on this situation. I mean, I'm going to speak on every situation. And quite frank, I haven't even spoke on it yet. Okay, well, we're not we're speaking using on it. We're using it as a topic. Right, this is, okay, what is all of this? I don't know. You, just, you just got to get it in. <laughs> Cody, wait a minute. What'd you say? What'd you say? If you see someone going to a hotel with someone that shouldn't be doing that, that person is not your friend. You know what I mean? Cody just changed the whole angle. Oh, he don't have no, energy now. I don't know psychology, man. He, 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 said, he, said, he said it wouldn't be your friend because, first of all, your friend wouldn't put out that kind of energy, period. Damn. 
So that just means. It, what if your friend is imperfect and having a vulnerable moment? Yeah, Cody, what if they got caught? Yeah, oh, and they have the a moment, vulnerable baby. moment and they got shit caught. is going on at home and they need a release. Wait a minute, your mama. <laughs> now, right now, you ain't going to be in every scenario because one of them going to get you in trouble. Now, if I was you, I'd let somebody else get in this one. You around here talking about And they need to get by themselves and they need to get their heads clear. What? This is wrong. I'm about to go through all your goddamn receipts no. when I get home. <laughs> Tell your goddamn purse up tonight, spoiler. The whole flow got receipts on it. You're going to go to that magic city and you're going to sit up on the seat. in every scenario. And receipts. If it's real, we got to be in every scenario. So what kind of release are we talking about here? What kind of release, says Cody? A climax release, a verbal right. release, right. well, a mind release. Okay. Anyway. My, it's grown man conversations, y'all. It's, grown man. it's, it's totally grown man, and it's again, mind your p's and q's, mind your business, because you don't know what's going on in that relationship. Maybe they know. have a thing where it's like a once a year thing, like Andre Carolico. <laughs> Anyone? Utah Jazz number forty-seven had a thing where he was married to the Russian uh, supermodel, or think, and they one night a year he could go out and do his own okay. thing. Wow! All pass. Now, oh, that needs right. to be a discussion. Maybe you don't know if there's a hall pass going on, and then you're just all of a sudden in, in, in putting, putting yourself in this and relationship, and they're like, oh, wow, well, now right. my friend is way too involved in my relationship. Now we're not going to be friends because I don't want to tell her about this situation I've had. Cody's a mentor this shit. Cody's a this shit. He said, I won't go through it again. Learn my lesson in 98. And the, and the part we need to be about the hall pass. Is a home pass acceptable? Well, check the time. What time is it? Last time I looked, it was eight forty-four. We only, we only. She talking about the time. The mind your business. No. That's a t-shirt. Mind your business. What time is it? I'm just asking. Can I get a time check? Ain't nobody got a watch in here. Yeah. Eight thirty-four. Eight thirty-four. Let me ask you this: Can you get a time check? 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 Can you get a that Cody said about a hall pass, and we're gonna do about 10 minutes on that. Okay? Nah, Cody, I like that. That hall pass, that's the one right there. Like that, but we're gonna talk about that one, brother. So, so, so K-Mail was, was asking a question about uh, the married couple. She wasn't in here when I, when she, when she, when I said, I'd kill everybody. Yeah, she missed that. Yeah, you missed that. Yeah, I'll, miss kill, that. I'll kill the messenger, I'll kill the one that saw it, I'll Ted kill everybody Bucky. in the restroom, in the restaurant, okay. wherever it was. I, I even killed the person that gave him the hotel key. He's yes. The front desk guy. The, yeah, <laughs> the front desk guy, yeah. You saw that? I, I don't care. I'll kill the people that got the, the cameras, to put the cameras in them. Yes. I'll find them. So we ain't gonna never tell you if we ever see that. Never, never, never. If she went to the store without me or my son, you better let me know. Uh -oh. I ain't letting you know so shit. I'm just joking. Not after that scenario, you just gave me. I'm gonna hit finesse on her out there. On her phone and say, listen, don't, don't kill Listen, I, I was right behind you when you got that right there. I mean, fish. But I ain't seen shit, yeah. That's how nervous I was. I called it a big fish. That's when you know you're nervous. I'll make fish. <laughs> and hell. Okay. It's coming back. So did Carolyn ask the question to the man people? Oh, that was man. Yeah, he said he's gonna kill everybody. Okay. Now here's a spin-off. It's on film. That hall pass. <laughs> you know you hear people talk about the hall pass a lot. And what the hall pass is, that's when your wife or your husband give you a pass, you can go see or do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Now, I just want to ask, cause I'm just throwing it out there to see if it sticks. I'm just throwing it out there to see if it sticks. Who could do a hall pass and be okay with it in their relationship? Oh, goddamn lady. 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 Be okay, man. Uh, you know, it's a topic that's a little bit 
up for discussion. Okay. And, 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 You know, instead of stepping out and cheating and being dishonest about what you're doing, oh, I'd rather right. you come to me and say, listen, I'm a little itch right now. She ain't gonna work oh, Chicken and some potato wedges, and I'm gonna see my wife. 
Well, I'm gonna get some hall pass head too then. Baby, listen. I want some. If, if we go that way, it's gotta but, go that way. Right, but what? It was. Did you hear late when she said the hall yeah. pass has to be both ways? Right. So if it's one side, that's oh. just okay. So it'll be both ways. Okay. 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 But it got to be something we discuss. Okay. You can't just tell me, well, I'm gonna get some head too. <laughs> Hold on. You might can only get you might can only get your titties up. <laughs> And bring your ass right on my home and help your son with his homework out there. All you can do is breastfeed and bring your ass right on back here. Pull one of your titties out your shirt. That's all you can do. And bring your ass right on home. Well, all you can do is pull the ball out then. You can just pull a left ball out. Well, if I pull the ball out, well, let me tell you, okay, well, let me tell you something. In porn, the go-to move before the ejaculation is sucking the balls. If she can suck the balls, she can suck the balls to death and let it pop. Your mom is, nobody wants a hall pass with you. All right, I'll take a left on that. So I'm going to pee and come right back to class. They know walking around on your ass. Right, you, take all, you take all the fun out of all pass. It's just got to be equal. Even the scenario ain't fun. Well, that little thing, but you gotta realize that if you're gonna do that, then the woman should be allowed to get a mic to Brother Jay, please. <laughs> Alright, this goes all the way back to President Clinton. Uh -oh. And we had that whole conversation where he sat up there and said, Well, I did not have sexual relations with that lady. And it's like, I just got hit. And it's like, okay, that's total point. He's trying to imply that getting head is not like having an extramarital affair, and, that, that they're, one, they're not the same. And that's what we got into that whole conversation as a country. Bill Clinton in the White House, I did not have sexual relationships. A lot of us like, and they split the country, so we like, you get your head, you did. Okay, we split in grown man conversations. Yeah. Who in here right now believe if you just get oral sex, that's intercourse, raise your hand. It's, 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 Absolutely. Okay, baby, okay, you got your turn. Now, there's other people in here because everybody has a hand up. Okay, I forgot. If you don't think that oral sex is intercourse, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Now, you see, room split. I want to know why. And we got females up too. Room split. Let's talk about this one right here. Go to sport at first. He got his cat backwards. This is the issue here, right? Now, when you when, when girls tally up how many women tally up how many men they have had in the course of they don't count how many dicks they suck too. They only count how many people they inside right. of their vagina. All right. All right. When it comes to cutting your dick suck, that is not in the course. Furthermore, as y'all would say. I like that part, dog. I mean that's I like that part. Yeah. Yeah. And then also since the mic is over here, another thing. The hall pass can only be one sided because we can't take no hall pass. Right, right. Y'all can bust a hall pass, but y'all can't get no hall pass. Right, right. Clap, y'all, clap. All right, well, wait a minute, your mama. Sporty, we got a young lady who want to ask a question. When men eat pussy, do they count that as having intercourse? No, no. Do they count that as having intercourse? No, they don't go to a total count. A lot of them count as a chore. And then we didn't get it. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Nah, look. See, them. What? What happened? Wait a minute. What I missed? The reason, now he said, he said it all goes towards the total count. He no. said you can't eat no pussy and I like, get no pussy. As a man. Like, that don't even, that don't even make yeah. yeah. his mindset. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not that, not stop. that I'm not a Let's stop right there real quick. That is weird. He said. But it's weird, nigga. Yeah. He said weird. you can't. Eat no pussy without getting pussy. No, 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 let me no, no. You can't, no, no, you can't. What I'm saying is like, if it's your girl, something like that, sometimes you want to eat pussy sometimes. Right. But I'm saying like, it's not going to be women in the world that's going to be like, oh, he ate no pussy, but man, fuck. They not pointing to me like that. Hey! Hey! They not going to point me out like that. 
It's other niggas. It's other niggas. Devil. It's like that, they walk the face of the earth, and then like a park guard, they get more excited out of assisting the, and watching you score than watching them shoot and they score. You know what I mean? It's some cats like that. It's some Magic Johnsons in the bedroom. 20 assists, two points. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this without saying too much. A grown man hall pass. When you got that female on the hall pass, she know what you're known for. So she automatically know. Once he finished doing this right here, he get ready to go. That's his thing. Are we able to ask you questions? Oh, so you a brunch luncher? <laughs> Am I? Yes, you are. All right, then. Yeah. All right, then. Are we able to ask you questions, Tone? Yes. Yeah. So, do you, do you, oh, I mean, uh, I guess it's a little weird because the wife is right here. Oh, that ain't weird. Go ahead. Do, are you, do you, 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 tell you, you how do you feel about uh, <laughs> hall passes as a man? Could, could men give out hall passes to women? Or do you think? If you can take it. Hall passes are great for the If you can take it, it listen. And, the, and Brother Jay? And the 40 Hadith, 40 questions they asked the Prophet Muhammad. Talk to them up, And one of the questions dealt with doing things that you know you may not, should have done, or it's eating away at your subconscious. The answer was, do that which your conscience can stand. Sporty, do that which your conscience can stand. Some men can go have sex with a female that ain't their lady, come home, take a shower, go upstairs, talk to their lady, kiss their lady, watch TV. Some men hug a woman the wrong way. Got to ride around the block before they go in the house to shake that off because they felt like, uh, and they go in the house. Do that which your conscience could stand. Could I? Give Yolanda a hall pass so she could go do something, even if we got guidelines and restrictions. I'm going to tell you right now, it, I couldn't do it. The only way I could do it is like if Yolanda come and say, yo, you just got one of them Russell Wilson deals. They giving you a hundred. And 20 million to do, but I'm just saying we're gonna use 120 because that's good enough. One, one, they just gave you 186 million movie deal, so and so and so and so. At that point, Sporty, you write a check on the bed. You write a check on the bed and you say, hey, whoever it was that you done missed out on, go get them. And I'll be here when you get back.
women get more emotionally tied yeah. into the relationship. So if you got a hall pass, a once a year hall pass, that's what he said. Women are so emotionally <laughs> tied Don't put me in to that shit. It can turn into something else. So right. you got to be careful now. Right. All right. Oh, wow. Y'all clap it up. Hey, listen. This has been one of the best drawing conversations that we had. If you're running out of film, we gonna keep talking because I got another angle that I'm about to slide on. Uh -oh, uh -oh. So if you ain't got the film, you, you cut shit off. We can, we gonna keep this thing talking right here, baby, because I got something else going on in here.